Dressed for space, but destined for less lofty heights, they are geared up to fly a modified corporate jet through some paces that would make a CEO's stomach churn. Zero, zero on the back. Seven degrees. No, this is not your average Gulfstream 2. Good, we are ready. And we are cleared. It's one of NASA's shuttle training aircraft. Rotate. And veteran shuttle commander Brian Duffy showed us how the STA handles just like the real thing. You got it. Okay, I got it. Which is to say it drops like a safe. 5,000, good radar. Radar. 4,000. Okay, good speed at 4. With the landing gear down and the engines in reverse, the STA drops nearly twice as fast and six times steeper than a commercial airliner. Now some free planet. And the free player arm the wheels, please, again. Arm. No, the approach to the runway at the Kennedy Space Center is not for the faint of heart. 500, boards 21, 400. You're down. Here. Go on to the 200, 270, orbiter gear is down. Duffy is joined by trainers Allison Hickey and Ken Baker. He sits in the right seat with a regular array of controls and instruments. While on Duffy's side, everything looks and feels like the world's most expensive glider. The first time you land the space shuttle, you've never done it before. Uh, for, for real. Uh, fortunately, the way we train is that uh, the commander will have had a, a minimum of, of a thousand dives, a thousand approaches in the shuttle training aircraft. This shuttle veteran has now logged about 2,100 dives, as they are aptly called. The goal is to make the real thing seem very familiar, but don't call it matter of fact. No, it's not matter of fact, and, and it never will be, not for anybody who's ever in that condition. That's five for five, Roger. With ten dives complete, some through simulated clouds, others with failed instruments, Brian Duffy calls it a night. Another day at the office for a space shuttle commander. Perfect. You know, and some days you're better than others. Miles O'Brien, CNN, at the Kennedy Space Center, Florida.